Shopify dropshipping is the number one business model that you should be getting into in 2023 leading into 2024. And the reason for this is because there is a low upfront cost, you don't have to hold any inventory, and on top of that, it's extremely easy to get started with. You can literally get started with your business today. Not only that, but the reason why I feel like this business model stands out from the others is because if you have a successful store, you're making money 24 seven. So that means you're making money even while you're sleeping. Now, the number one reason why most beginners quit and they fail at their dropshipping business is because they are following unproven strategies. And this is what I like to call information overload. They're listening to too many gurus and not to say that any of these gurus are wrong, but they don't give it enough time to be able to hone in on one single strategy and go through one path before they move on to another. So in this video, I'm gonna help you with that and I'm gonna give you the easiest way for you to get started with your dropshipping business in 2023 leading into 2024. So I hope you're ready to lock into this video and watch it to the end because you're not gonna to wanna to miss a thing. So make sure you go ahead and drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And also, if you're an entrepreneur out there that's looking for a like-minded community full of other dropshippers on their dropshipping journey, feel free to go to the description and sign up for my free Discord server. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, the first thing that you need to do when you're starting your dropshipping business is that you need to find a winning product. But before we do that, we need to find a niche first. Now, the reason why we're gonna be picking our niche first is because when you go to build out your store, you don't wanna make a store that's just generated around one product because when you're a beginner, it's gonna take you multiple products before you find your first winning product. And you don't wanna be overwhelmed by the amount of work that you'll have to do if you're constantly having to make a new store each and every single time that your product doesn't work. And by having a branded niche store, you can start adding other products to your store without having to make a brand new site again. So some recommended niches that you can get started with are pets, fitness, uh, fashion, beauty. All these niches are proven to work. And I personally recommend that you pick something that you're passionate about or something that you know something about. And the reason for this is because if you don't know anything about the niche, it's gonna be really hard for you to be able to find problem solving products or to know what that niche needs help solving. So if you've never had a pet before, you probably shouldn't get into the pet niche. But let's just say maybe you have a girlfriend, maybe you wanna get into the beauty niche because she knows about all the hottest beauty products. So long story short, make it simple on yourself. So now that you have your niche, I'm gonna go over some free methods to be able to find some winning products, and I'm also gonna show you some paid methods as well. Now I do recommend that you invest into a product research tool because it's gonna allow you to be able to find winning products so much faster. And the reason for this is because you're gonna have analytics right at your fingertips. Usually with the paid methods, it's gonna be hard for you to be able to differentiate whether a product is currently selling or not. With a paid method, you can literally sometimes go and see exactly how many units that a Shopify store is selling with your product. Now the first product research tool we're gonna to be checking out is a tool called Manea. Now I am partnered with Manea, but I've been using their tool even before I was partnered. And they just recently recently launched their brand new V2 version. And it comes jam packed with a bunch of brand new features. Like for example, if you come to the main page here, you'll see the top 10 winning products of the day. And they sort these by the different platforms because obviously, you know, Facebook winning products are gonna be different than TikTok winning products. So as you can see, here are the top 10 winning products of the day. And you can go to Pinterest, you can see the top 10 winning products there. And you can also see the top 10 winning products on TikTok as well. So let's just say we wanna check out this product right here. We can click on it, it has 3.6 million views, as you can see, 13,000 comments, over 892 shares. Um, you can scroll down and you can click on the destination link and it's gonna take you right to the product page of the competitor so that way you can check it out and get some inspiration. Now, if you come back to the screen, you can obviously see the advertisement right here, but if you scroll down, there's so much more useful information. You can see um, you know, what countries this advertiser is targeting. You can see how long they've been running the advertisement for, and you can also see the engagement rate. So if you click on see more at the bottom, it's gonna bring up this page right here, which is a more in-depth view than the screen we were just looking at. It shows basically the same information right here on the top, but you can see right here, this is the product that we chose. You can see how much it costs, $59.98. You can see what networks that they're running this product on. So they're running it on Pinterest and on TikTok ads. Then if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see right here the audience's countries. So you can see the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom, and that the audience age is between 10 and 20 years old. And they recently just launched this magic search feature, which I really love because you're able to see all the other competitors that are currently selling this product. Now, the way that this is gonna be helpful for you is because if you see that there's a bunch of competitors, most likely the product is saturated, but also you're able to get a bunch of inspiration from other competitors and see how their ads are performing. 
And then they have this browse ad section, and this is primarily what I use the most on Manea and how I find majority of my winning products because I have all these filters here and I can really hone down on the type of winning product that I'm looking for. So I can sort by the different platforms. I can also choose the dates. A lot of the times I like to look at products within the last 14 days because then I'm able to see what's actually working in the market right now. And then media type, I'll do video. Call to action, I'll do shop now. E-commerce platform will be like Shopify. And then for the likes, I usually just bump this up to like, you know, medium engagement, um, just so that way I, I'm not looking at advertisements that have no engagement at all. And then lastly, I like to use this is drop shipping um, new filter. So basically when you click on this, it allows you to see only drop shipping ads. And now that you've chosen those filters, you have a solid list of products that you can go through. So yeah, I absolutely love Manea. Been using them for a while now, and I highly recommend that you check them out. I know I'm partnered with them, but I would never recommend anything to you guys that I'm not personally using, and I'm using Manea weekly to find winning products. So if you want to check out Manea for yourself and get 20% off of any of their plans, be sure to hit the first link in the description. The next product research tool that I want to show you guys, which is 100% free, and I love to use it, is the TikTok Creative Center. Now, what I love about the TikTok Creative Center is you're able to see advertisements in the market that are currently working okay and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mess with these filters here so usually what i like to do is united states for the industry i'm going to choose whatever niche of products that i'm looking for so just for this example i'm going to click on beauty and personal care and then for the objective i'm going to click conversions you don't want to do anything else just conversions and then i want to see products within the last 30 days the ad language obviously we're going to choose english ad format we're going to just leave this be and then the likes, I like to do the top one to 20%, so that way you're seeing products that are actually working. And as you can see, all of these products are now sorted by only beauty products that are performing well on TikTok. And if you wanna check out the video ad for yourself, all you have to do is just hover over the video and it'll automatically start playing. So now you can just scroll through these different results and find your next winning product. So the next step to get started with your dropshipping business, you're gonna to need to create a Shopify store. Now, this is my favorite part of the process because I'm able to be creative and create a nice branded store. So now what you need to do is go to the link in the description and there's a spot that says, get Shopify for a dollar for three months. Click on that link and it's gonna bring you to this screen right here. Then all you have to do is just type in your email address and click on start free trial. And this is gonna give you Shopify for three months for a dollar a month. So usually Shopify is around $30 a month. So for three months, that's $90. So I'm already saving $90 right off the bat. Now, once you're done with that entire process, you're gonna see this screen right here. This is a fresh, brand new Shopify store. Now, I'm not gonna go through the entire online store section and show you guys how to create a high converting Shopify store from scratch, because I've already done that in a recent video. So I'm gonna link that video somewhere up here. I don't know what side it's gonna be on. It is in your best interest to go ahead and check out this video, because I go through step-by-step step how to create a high converting Shopify store. I show you websites that I've personally created. So definitely check this out. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the backend settings because I've never shown you guys how to import a product to your store and I've never shown like the backend settings of your Shopify store. So what you're gonna wanna do first is click on the bottom right here where it says settings and now you'll see all your store settings. So I'm gonna go through majority of these that I like to mess with when I first get started with my store. So um, to start off right here, you're gonna wanna click on edit, upload your, uh, you know, your store name. If you don't have a store phone number, don't worry about it. You could just leave it blank. Then for your store currency, this should automatically be on whatever country that you're in. It, it basically tracks it by your IP address, I believe. So if it's US dollars, it's US dollars. If it's euros, whatever it is, put that here. Make sure that your time zone is correct. Now you're gonna to go to the plan section right here and you're gonna to wanna to choose a plan because you're not gonna be able to do majority of the settings if you don't you know, choose a plan. So go here, choose a plan, and as you can see, if you put my code in, all of these are all $1 for you to be able to try out for your first three months. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to billing and then you're gonna to wanna to upload your payment method. This is the payment method that they're gonna be taking everything out of, so your Shopify store plan, your apps, anything like that. Then for your users and permission section, this is where you're able to, you know, invite a VA to your store if you're having somebody, you know, fulfill your orders, or if you have a developer that you need to invite so that way they can make some changes onto your website. You can do this right here by just clicking the add staff button. Then for the payment section, this is one of the most important parts of the settings because obviously if you can't get paid, then how are you gonna make any money, okay? So um, you're gonna wanna go to payments and you're gonna wanna activate Shopify payments. You're gonna wanna go through the entire process, add Shopify payments to your store, and I also highly recommend that you add PayPal as well. 
So now for the checkout settings, majority of these are already on default. I did change a few, so I'll let you know which ones I changed. All these should already be um, selected for you. Um, but if you come down to customer information, you're gonna wanna put require first and last name. And then for the company name, it has it on don't include, but I usually just put optional, just in case someone does order that you know is from a company. I've had a couple customers who have used, who have tried to use their company name. And then if you come down to the marketing options, this is where you can let customers sign up for email or SMS marketing. Usually just the email is selected, but you wanna click this pre-selected option. So pretty much customers will automatically be opted in to your email list unless they uncheck the box, which is really nice. And then the customer account section, I never mess with. I don't allow people to make you know accounts. It, I feel like it's just you know more of a headache than anything. When you're first getting started, you just don't need this. Then for the shipping and delivery, what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on general shipping rates. And then typically what I do is I just go through and I delete all of these. I also delete the ones from international as well. And then I go underneath domestic and I click add rate. Now, depending on what your shipping time is, you can customize this here, but you could just put custom flat rate. Then you can name the rate free standard shipping. I never charge shipping on my stores and then put it for $0 and then click done. And then you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing for international. So click on add rate, go to custom flat rate, no transit time name it free standard shipping and then you're going to want to click done here as well but i do recommend that you make it very clear what your shipping times are on your website so that way your customers are not confused now taxes and duties locations gift cards markets i really don't mess with apps and channels this is where you're going to add all the apps onto your shopify store so you're going to add your supplier like cj drop shipping or zen drop you're going to add any aov boosters whether you want to add like buying discounts or review apps this is where you're gonna be able to do all this right here. Then you wanna go ahead and get a domain. I don't buy my domains from Shopify, but just in case you want to, all you need to do is go to buy new domain, type in your domain right here. You're gonna buy it for about, I think 13 or $14, and then Shopify is gonna tie it right to your store. And lastly, you wanna go to policies. Now you wanna make sure you have your policies in check because you can't even advertise on Facebook or on TikTok if you don't have these set up. And Shopify makes it very easy for you. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just go to the written return and refund policy and press create from template and it's gonna create a template for you. Same thing for the privacy policy, same thing for terms of service, so on and so forth. But what I do highly recommend is that you go into, you know, the return and refund policy, for example, and you make sure that everything adds up. So as you can see right here, um, this section right here says insert return address. Obviously, you don't want to leave it like that. You want to delete this section and then put your ins, um, you know, your return address here. So just to give you another example, I'm on the terms of service section. And if you go to section six, it says for more details, please review our refund policy link to refund policy. Obviously, you don't want to leave it like that. You want to put the link to your refund policy. So you want to go line by line in each and every single one of these policies and make sure that you have everything up to date. So I highly recommend that you check out Reconvert Post-Purchase Upsell for yourself. It's 100% free. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description. So the next thing that you need to do is you need to pick your theme. Now I said I wasn't going to show you the entire online store setup because I've already done that in another video, but I do wanna show you what theme that you can choose, okay? So you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars on a theme. Please don't do this. The free Shopify themes are good enough, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is go to the online store, click on themes, click on add theme and then visit the theme store. And it's gonna bring you to this screen right here. Actually, I think you're gonna to have to click on all themes first, then you'll get this screen. Then you're gonna to wanna to click on free. And these are all the free themes that you can go ahead and choose from. Now the themes that I recommend is the dawn theme, the sense theme and the refresh theme. My favorite is refresh, but feel free to choose whichever one fits your store the best. Now the next thing that you need to do is you need to create a logo for your store. Now don't go spending hours and even days trying to come up with a logo, okay? I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way that you can make these 100% for free. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to canva.com and make an account. It's completely 100% free. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is come to the search bar and type in logo. And then right here where it says suggested templates, you can click on see all. And here are a bunch of different templates that you can click on and literally just import your brand name and already have a logo ready to go. So you can come to all filters and on the left side here, you can you know uh, sort by your style. So if you like a minimalist style, you can choose that, elegant, so on and so forth. So let's just say, for example, you like this logo right here. All you're gonna do is just click on it, click on customize this template, and then it's gonna bring the template up for you to be able to customize. So all you have to do is just enter your name. So test 
brand and boom just like that you already have a logo and it's ready to go and just to show you an example of a logo that I created myself the store was called Peak Emporiums it was a general store that I was running so the logo came just like this I just typed in Peak Emporiums for whatever text was here the logo was already here and all I had to do is just click on the logo and you know change the colors to whatever I wanted it to be so now that you have all that done, the next thing on our list is that we need to import our winning product onto our Shopify store. And the supplier that I'm going to choose for this is CJ Dropshipping. So what you're going to want to do is go to cjdropshipping.com and you're going to want to make an account. Then you're going to go to the bottom and click on settings. You're going to go to apps and sales channels, the Shopify app store. Then you're going to want to come to the top and type in CJ Drop. Oops, I think I spelled it wrong. CJ Dropshipping doesn't matter. Here it is right here and you're gonna to wanna to install it to your store. And you'll know you've tied it all correctly if you see this right here, which says authorization success. So once you find your product on CJ Dropshipping, now you can listen to your store. Um, the product that I chose for this example is the fleece tights. So pretty much these are just tights um, that women can wear even in the winter because they have wool on the inside. So the first thing I check for is I make sure that there's enough inventory for the product that I'm trying to sell. As you can see right here, there is an inventory section that says that there's about 10,000 units, which is plenty. And then I also go down to the shipping method and I see how much shipping is. So typically I just stick with whatever is about eight to 15 days. So CJ packet um, sensitive is completely fine, but you can go ahead and compare the rates right here and make your best decision. Then if you wanna go ahead and list it, all you have to do is just click on list. And now you'll have this screen right here. So you're gonna to have to choose the product type. You can choose whatever, it doesn't really matter. So you can just click add new, leggings, confirm. And then for the vendor, I usually just type in the name of my store. So test store confirm. And now here are all the variants of that product, okay? And what you're gonna to wanna to look at is the total drop shipping cost. So this is the price that it's gonna cost for them to be able to ship this product to your customer. So if you don't want a variant and you don't wanna sell it on your store, you could just uncheck the ones that you don't want. And you could come up right here and bulk edit everything so that way you don't have to go line by line and type in your price right here. So let's just say you wanna sell this product, I don't know, for $39.99. And then you could press okay and it'll pre-filter everything for you. So again, you don't have to go line by line and type in $39.99 each and every single time. And as you can see, if you go back to your main page of Shopify, click on products, your product will now be listed right here, which you can click on and you can go ahead and edit, you know, the description, you can edit the title, you know, mess around with the different images, so on and so forth. Now, when you're first starting your dropshipping business, you don't need all of these apps, but there are a few that you need so that way you can get started on the right foot. So one of the first apps that I like to use is an app called Vitals. And what I love about Vitals is that it gives you 40 apps all tied into one app. So if you were to try to get all these apps separately, it would cost you an arm and a leg. But the apps that I use inside of Vitals are product reviews, sticky add to cart, and volume discounts. And the best part is that it has a 30 day free trial so you can get started with your store and not have to pay a thing. Now the other app that you absolutely must have is an app called Reconvert Post Purchase Upsell. Now if you like free money, then this is the app for you because it's going to allow you to get extra sales on your Shopify store with no extra effort. Now this app is gonna allow you to add upsells and downsells to your store. You can add them on the checkout page. You can also add them to the thank you page as well. So Reconvert makes it so easy for you to add post purchase upsells to your Shopify store. So once you install the app to your store, you're gonna get this screen right here. And all you have to do is just click on start now and pretty much Reconvert is gonna give you your own post purchase upsell funnel without you having to do a thing. It's gonna set up your first upsell, a downsell, product recommendations, customer reviews, a pop-up with a timer, and so much more. The only thing that you need to do to set this up is set your max discount for your second upsell. At default, this is set up at 30%. Pretty much what this means is if all else fails and your customer rejects every offer, it'll offer them a final upsell discount for 30% off. Then once you're done, all you have to do is just click on Publish Reconvert. And this right here is pretty much just a flow chart breaking down exactly what they did for you. So as you can see, once the order is complete, it'll trigger an upsell. If they decline, it'll go to a downsell. If they accept, it goes to the second upsell, so on and so forth. And let's just say that you wanna customize your thank you page. All you need to do is just click on the pencil button right here. And it's gonna bring up your exact thank you page and you can customize this however you like. So once your customer checks out, they can see recommendations for other products you have, or you can even offer them another product at a huge discount. So as you can see, I'm on the thank you page and I already placed my order. Typically the deal would be done, but if you have reconvert on your store, you can give them one-time offers even after they've already paid. So this offer says one-time offer. For the next 20 minutes only, get 30% off of everything and then there's a shop now button. 
Now, if I click on the shop now button, it's gonna take me back to the shop's catalog where I can add more things to my order without having to enter my card details again. And on a brand new Shopify store that I just started, I've already generated over $2,000 in newfound money just by having this app on my store. So I highly recommend that you check out Reconvert Post-Purchase Upsell for yourself. It's 100% free. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description. So now that you've completed all the previous steps and you have your store ready, it's now time for you to start advertising. So I highly recommend that you get started with TikTok ads. It's gonna be able to allow you to test products quickly and not break the bank. If you go to ads.tiktok.com, you can create your TikTok ad account here. And right now is actually the perfect time for you to be able to get started because they're running a offer right now that if you spend $100, you get $100. If you spend $500, you get $500. So technically you can get $200, $1,000, or even $3,000 in extra ad credits for you to be able to run traffic to your store. But if you don't have money to run traffic, I completely understand. And I highly recommend that you start doing the organic route. So what you're going to want to do is create a TikTok account for your product. So I found this, uh, you know, account within like 2.5 seconds. They're selling a portable thermal printer. So you're going to want to order your product on Amazon and make content just like this showcasing your product. But as you can see, some of the views are, you know, pretty good. 25,000 views, 32,000 views. Uh, 16,000 views and all of these are free well, this one even has 5 million views so this is literally free traffic and free eyeballs right to your Shopify store so since you won't have a thousand followers yet you won't be able to put the link in bio so I highly recommend that you make an Instagram and a YouTube account for YouTube shorts and you're gonna take all these pieces of content that you create and you're gonna upload them on there as well but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you tie those two accounts to your TikTok account. So just in case a customer comes to your TikTok profile, they can get the purchase link right from your Instagram bio. All right, you guys, so that's gonna do it. If you've watched this video from beginning to end, you now know the easiest way to be able to get started with your dropshipping business in 2023, leading into 2024. If you learned something today, I'd really appreciate it if you guys go ahead and drop a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping content. And if you're somebody out there that just needs some more one-on-one -on -one help with their dropshipping business and you want myself and my team to literally hold your hand through the entire process and help you get the results that you deserve, make sure you go down to the description and fill out the application for my one-on-one -on -one coaching program. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time.